Man, this your boy, Mr. Butler. Uh, today is the best day of my life. It's the best day of my life because I woke up this morning and tomorrow not promised. And every time I inhale, I exhale. Uh, I had started recording then one of my, my, my homies just called, man, from the junk. Uh, Glenwood. What's happening? What's happening? Not much, man. You all right? Yeah, more man. You know how it go. Yo, man, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. Believe it, believe it. Yo, man, I uh on another note, bro. I just we collecting uh we doing Christmas packages up at the uh at the detention center. Mm -hmm. Uh man, I been I got a truck full of stuff, man. I just took up there. I got some more stuff. They trying to make sure all them folks got Christmas packages. Um, so. I'm gonna touch on how we met. I think we met at Alto, didn't Believe it. Yeah, believe it. Alto. What dorm? Hey, what, look, wait, what was it? Hey, you it was Hayes. It was at Hayes. It was, it was, it was at Hayes. Hayes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was at Hayes in uh, what they were calling the fast track. Right, right, right. Yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. And then uh, then they transferred all of us to Alto. Right. What your what you had got locked up the first for the first time? Man, I can bring this up. <laughs> How much time yet, sir? My fuck around got damn dead. What four years on that? All right, then what I'm gonna do? Cause in order to monetize what I got going on, we got to speak English. And when I say speak English, we can't be we can't cuss. I know we home boys, but I gotta okay, get okay, this. Okay, okay. I gotta get this on here. But say so you sir, you had aggravated assault. And you got how much time? Four years. Four years. That one no that one no no, no long straight. You had to do the whole four? Yeah, man. We we really wasn't at ninety percent. It was like at uh three years and nine nine months. You know what I'm saying? In the joint and uh three months on house already when I got out. Alright. So what year you came home? From uh from ninety eight to uh two thousand two. Oh, okay. So you came to the so you paroled out. Yeah, I out like three months early. Okay. Yeah. So how you when you came home, what 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 the movement was? What you had going on? Man, working. I was working because you know before I got out, uh, they had this top set program going on, and we were like the first, like you know the the, the people like to, to try to do to do it. You know what I'm saying? And they. Get us a job, you know what I'm saying, and everything before. It's like we had like a mock interview, like you know what, what they would say would be Skype. Now, yeah. or some, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Back then, we had like a mock interview, you know what I'm saying. And they did the interview, and I ended up getting hired from prison because I had experience working, you know what I'm saying, um, in automotive. You know what I'm saying. So, therefore, um, got me a job, and when I got my job, you know. I worked, stayed down, hit the ground running, but, you know, I was still in the street. You know how that go. Yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah. Let me ask you this. Like, when you first took down after them four, what was the biggest, like, eye-opener for you, just in reference to transitioning back into society? The biggest eye-opener probably was there was a lot of people still doing the same thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I left. Yeah. They ain't never elevate, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, with, 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 with a young mind friend, you, you feel this. You don't have no fear, so you, like, hit the ground running. And so, like, whatever you into or whatever it was you were into, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you go for what you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. And so, and so you stayed home how long? How many years did you stay home? Man, I stayed free 12 years before I even caught another case. What was the case you caught? Hey, where the side the police. I done up and in a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what happened. You, you want to die? You want to die? Yeah, really. And see, I always looked at it like this. You know, I, I had time to respect on life you know, everything we got going on. And, you know, I would look at it, I was like, man, she, you, my first four years, like, you know, it was like basically, it was basically college. You know, people go, some people go to the 
submarines. Some people go to the army. Some people go to college. Some people go to prison. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like the first, the first four years, um, me being in prison was like, you know, me learning from other people's mistakes. Me becoming a better criminal. That's why I stayed out so long without getting into any trouble. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I learn from other people's mistakes. I, I sit and I listen and I observe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I always listen. I always kept my ear to what's going on because, you know, I feel like I can learn from other people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, so, you know, I stayed up, man. I stayed up, man. That, 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 that stretch before I even got into any trouble. You know what I'm saying? But it was my mentality. My mentality, my mind state, it never really changed because it kicked into to survival mode when you when you're going through them hard places like hey, when you're going through them hard places like I so you know what I'm saying, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, you be in survival mode, so you kick in. So like my mentality never changed. I still took that same mentality to the street. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was it was pretty much game time when you came back home. Yeah, most definitely. Most definitely, most definitely. I mean, I hit the ground running, man. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I hit the ground running, had my ups, had my downs. You know what I'm saying? But, you know how it go? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yeah
because again, the mentality. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. when we in them spots, when you in them spots, you can't be called nothing pertaining to no female, you know? Yeah. You know, they got these type folks and these type, you can't be none of that. Yeah. None on none on that. Yeah. So, my mentality, it never changed. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't talk to me like this. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And on the flip side of thing, yeah, you can talk to me like this because this is how me and you communicate. Now, what what's her background? I'm saying she's street with it, she educated with it. What's what what what's the scenario? What's your name? I mean, what what baby mama? What what what's her storyline? This is my it's my oldest baby mama, which is the police. You understand know what I'm saying? So your baby mama is the police, or was the police? Facts. Like a real police officer. Like a real police officer. I ain't gonna even ask how that came about. That's a whole nother. Yeah, it's a whole situation. nother. That's a whole nother one right there, bro. You I'm saying, saying she was so. the police when you met her, or you met no, her and then. No, 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 no. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. I don't know, man. Ain't I see. I see you at the top yeah, of the game, man. I see you, man. You know. Ain't no way, man. <laughs> 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 no, man. You know what I'm saying. At the, when we first met, man, we were ride or die. So you, you, you imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? But yeah, man, that's a whole nother. Yeah, uh, yeah, scenario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But you know. So she say that. I flip. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I flip. Cussing I. I ain't asked for this shit. Only thing I want you to do is get the baby. Such and such and such and this down the third. I send her some hate mail through a text. Okay. I say, bitch, I already feel like killing somebody. Don't be the first one in line. Yeah. This is what I say in the text. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Boom. She coming back. Now, when she coming back, she's at the mall. So that means that the daddy, the one who in the streets, you know what I'm saying? And you know I ain't got no re no no regular nine to five, you know what I'm saying? So you know how I operate. It just ain't no secret. You been you man, you were married, you know what I'm saying? So it ain't like I didn't switched up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Went straight square. Nah, I ain't did that. So you know what's going on. You see what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. So when I gotta move, I gotta move. Ain't no if hands and no buts about it. You know I ain't gonna stop me from moving. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So boom. We goes at it. I can hear people in the background. She coming back. I can hear people in the background. You know what I'm saying? So now she got the mall security in the background. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, man, fuck what other this old police ass shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't standing on that. You know what I'm saying? What you gonna do? Yeah. Boom. Her mama called me. Okay. So her mama called me. You know, quite naturally, her mama gonna take up for her daughter. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So... She kind of with the nonsense. I cussed her ass out too. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So the mama say, well, yeah, Marquis, he had an irate. And, you know, I think you need to call the police. Mind you, bro, I've been killing you since 2002. There is no need for you to call the police on me. Yeah. You cheat on me, I'm a kid. You leave me, I'm a kid. You fucking other nigga, I'm a so kid. So what you saying is you been just telling Shouty you gonna kill her for a long time. Man, come on, man. And then you ain't did yet. You see what I'm saying? That's how hey, we you, communicate. You, to you toxic too, bro, because you can't be man, telling I'm toxic me. as a motherfucker. <laughs> I'm, I'm toxic as a motherfucker, man. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But that's how it is. You know what I'm saying? That's how we communicate. Okay. Man, you ain't going nowhere. I don't care what's been done. I ain't finna goddamn take you away from my baby. Come on now. Yeah. How selfish is that? You see what I'm saying? But anyway, that's how we talk. You know what I'm saying? So the mama say, yeah, I think you need to call the police on here because he tripped. Man, please. Boom. So she called me. She say, look, just meet me. Uh, me and Matt, the racetrack. It's a, a quick trip, whatever um, damn shit is. Whatever um, damn it is, a quick trip, I think. Oh, yeah, that's, a, that's a quick trip. I'm like, all right, bet. 
nigga. I ain't thinking nothing on nothing about nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm just finna go drop the baby out so I can go on ahead and proceed with my day because I'm finna go and handle my business. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So boom. Then I get up. I don't know what the fuck I was doing. I got up. I went to the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? Which is my youngest baby mama. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Who I've been knowing, like, forever, Rarity. Like, I've been knowing her since we were teenagers. You see yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, boom. We dip. We getting ready to get down. We getting ready to go. You see what I'm saying? My phone rang. I'm like, man, who... The fuck it did, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm in my mind, in my mind, I'm like, this is what I say. Like, who is this calling me from her phone? Like, this a this a dude. Like, yeah, it's a dude, bro. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's a dude, and 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 just ain't no dude supposed to be calling me from this lady phone. You see what I'm saying? Like, what's going on? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So you know the defense go up off the muscle. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, uh, I'm going to get you. Man, what's going on, bro? Yeah. She's talking about, oh, I'm, I'm calling them. I'm, I'm being very disrespectful, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm being, I'm being very disrespectful. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And boom, mm -hmm. I hang up the phone. Boom. You see what I'm saying? Boom. He called me back, bro. Hold on. Question. Question. In, Answer. In your disrespect, is you threatening? Not the first time. Okay. And, no. Matter of fact, none of the times I'm going to tell you what I said. This is what I said. I said, bro, I don't give a fuck about no police. Is he the police too? This man is the police, bro. The man called me from her phone is the police. Out the rip, he trying to say who he is, but I'm not talking to him like sucker. Who you, man? Don't call me. I'm saying he don't on do duty, that. on duty, off duty, or what's the situation? Man, the man was on duty, man. On duty, police call you. Man, the uh, on duty police officer called me from my child's mother's phone, bro. Okay. Yeah, the same lady that I'm finna go meet, bro. Yeah. Yeah. So boom, off. The muscle, you know, I'm thinking about both of them being in law enforcement. You didn't call a dude that you know. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And try to got them, like, and try to sick them on me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I ain't even on this tight time with you. Yeah. I'm just trying to speed on and get peed on, man, and move on about my business so I can handle it. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Okay. But... You gonna come with the nonsense because of the simple fact of what I got going on in my life. Otherwise, okay, you see what I'm saying? It ain't it ain't about none of this. And plus, I done messed up your plan for the weekend. I'm sorry. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Boom. So boom. He called me again. I trump him off again. So, you know, I messed with, I didn't, I didn't, you know, I didn't say a few charged words, so therefore, you know what I'm saying? And at this point, you still at the quick trip? No, nah, I'm on the way, bro. Oh, okay, I'm okay. on the way. Okay. I'm on the way. And okay. I tell them, I tell them for a hunger to phone, look, you're going to have to handle your business. I'm going to have to handle mine, man. It is what it and is, And this bro. the police you're talking to? Yeah, I'm talking to the police, <laughs> man. I'm talking to the police, man, on the phone. You know what I'm saying? Because I done chucked the mouth off the rip. So, you know, he feeling a certain kind of way. You know what I'm saying? So he got, you know, I didn't mess with the bad ego, man. He the police, and I'm telling him, I don't, I don't give a fuck about him. You see what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But really and truly, bro, I'm just talking shit. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, but I know you, and I know, like, when you cool, you cool. But I know when, like, when when you get hot and your eyes start balling up. Right, and their mouth, their mouth get nasty, boy. Their mouth right. get real nasty, though. You know how I, you know how I get, man. Yeah. When I when I get when I when I get there, somebody gotta bend with this. Yeah, 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 yeah. It ain't yeah. me, ain't just cause I'm going there just for Yeah, 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 yeah. You know how, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that what it was, bro. So I said what I said, and you know, you know, I guess I heard his feelings, man. You know, and shoot. 
I look, get to the quick trip, I see the folks out there. They got lights on or they just out there? No, nah, ain't no lights on, man. They got two, yeah, two Clayton County, uh, uh, two Clayton County officers, man, out there, man, around this lady, man, and everybody standing outside the car. Yeah, what I say. And your baby with you? My 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 daughter is with me at this time. Okay. She has not gotten out the car yet. Okay. Guess what I say? Man, I ain't trying to go over there with them folk. Yeah. Let me go across the street. I tell my other baby mom, I say, look at here. Take my baby across the street, man. I don't want to deal with them folk. Yeah. I don't know what them folk, I'm trying to avoid all confrontation. I don't know what them folks are. Let me go over here to the other side, man. But this after time. you didn't talk them all, though. Yeah, after I talked them all, yeah. yeah. I'm just talking shit. That's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't want to smoke, bro. I'm just talking shit. Nigga, yeah. I'm saying what I want to say, nigga. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? I'm saying what I want to say, bro. Because, nigga, I ain't thinking nothing. I ain't thinking about no, nothing. I ain't thinking about no kind of charge, no terroristic threat. Yeah. I ain't no terrorist. That's how I'm feeling. Nigga, I ain't no terrorist. Yeah. Say what I want to say, man. Don't they got a freedom of speech? Like, I can say what I want to say. As long as I don't act upon it or do what I'm, what I do what I'm, you know what I'm saying? As long as I don't act upon it, then I can say what I want to say. I'm totally green, bro. I'm totally green to what a terroristic threat is, bro. Yeah, at the time. At the time, bro. At the time, I'm totally green. As smart as I am, bro. Yeah, and, yeah. But you know what I'm saying? Like, for real. Like, I'm thinking, like, bro, I ain't no terrorist, man. I say what I want to say. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Boom. Man, them folk pulls up on me, man, across the street. Got an open door. Fired up a cigarette. So, you were, you were across the street from a quick trip is wet. It's a pause cause, bro. Pause cause. Yeah, pause cause, bro. Pause cause, bro. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, I'm sitting there smoking a cigarette. My baby mama took my, my oldest daughter over there to her mama. Now, at this time, bro, when the police came over there messing with me, bro, the, the, ba if the baby was the, the you know, if it, you felt like it was going to be a, a, a problem with the baby, the baby is in good hands with her mother now. The other, my other baby mom then took her, walked her across the street. Question. To them folks. Question. Answer. Do you have the fire on you? Man. You know. <laughs> Man, that's a part of my outfit, bro. So everybody know you got the fire on you. Man, listen, everybody that knows me know that that's your part of my outfit. Right? Okay. You know, I'll never leave you home without it, bro. Okay. Under no circumstances, bro. You see I'm gonna ask one question because I was just playing devil's advocate. You had been home. You had been home for twelve years. You weren't on no paper. Yeah, I was on. I was on paper. I had. Uh, Three years, I had three years of uh, probation, but I had messed around and got that lifted within like maybe two years. So I had like a, uh, I had like a year, just, you know, it was over with in two years. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, so we had pause car. So, boom. Yeah. Open the door, smoking a cigarette. Lo and behold. 12 pulls up, blocks the car in. I looks down, I tell my baby mama older son, I mean, my baby mama's son, I say, uh, watch your sister right quick. Mind you, I got the file on me. Okay. Okay. They pulls up, block the car in. They like, hey, let me holler at you, man. I want to talk to you. I'm like, talk to me about what? This is what I say, bro. Talk to me about what, bro? You know, I ain't got... This the same dude you were talking to, or this a different officer? Nah, man, it's the same man I'm going to talk to. 
Okay. I was talking to, but okay. You know what I'm saying? Like this was this was like just the whole when he hopped out the car, bro. You know what I'm saying? They were like, it wasn't no nothing, no no nothing. They were like, I had to go see about this boy. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody's safe. I'm away from them. I'm away from them folks across the street, so you know I don't want no smoke, bro. Yeah. I'm just saying what I want to say. You know what I'm saying? Cause hey, I ain't finna let you kill me like like you gonna ruffle my feathers. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm supposed to be scared of you just because of who you are. No, I don't care about none of that. That ain't got nothing to do with what's really going on and what's at hand. I don't want no problems with nobody. So why is you messing with me? That's how I'm feeling with my heart, but yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So boom. I messed around, walking, talking. He wanna talk to me. I'm like, bruh. Look, look, and I look. I'm surveying the area because I'm looking for a, 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 a I'm looking for a, a, a exit. You know, what I'm saying I'm looking for an exit so I can go ahead and get this tool up off me. You see what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So I'm looking around. I see this dude with the video camera, with the with the phone on that, pointing my direction. So no, so that's you know, how I you got on World Star right that's now. When that World Star. So, man, I'm like, man, look, bro, I don't want to talk to you. You the police, bro. Like, I don't have nothing to say to the police under no circumstances. And, you know, to make matters work so, so, so bad, bro, this lady, you know, which is my baby mama, she is a police officer, too. So it don't matter what the hell I say. Y'all done took that oath. You know what I'm saying? You, it don't matter what I, and then I didn't chump you off. Boy, you crazy. I ain't got nothing to say, but the only thing I do know is that I'm not going to jail today because in my heart I feel like I ain't did nothing. Like I ain't did nothing, bro. I ain't so, so when you going nothing. back and forth with the police, where are you standing at now? Man, I'm standing. I'm cornered, bro. I'm standing like against the window, like in I'm front of Paul's car. In Paul's car, parking lot, bro. Like, by the building, bro. I'm cornered, bro. Okay, and so, the car you away from the car, so the children is they yeah, say. The Say what now? The children say. I mean, you know, as 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 they could be, because that's was the reason for me to hop out the car. Cause I don't want cause you know me. But I sit there and let you and let you beat on that dough and beat on that dough then, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you got another You know, I, you know me, I I go dumb. I go, you know, I ain't trying to hear nothing you saying. You know, I crack the window and, and listen. But now if you beat my window in and then you get the glass on the new one, baby and, and her brother back there in the back. And then now I'm really putting them in danger because, you know, my mind gonna flip on yeah. some more shit. You yeah. see what I'm saying? So I don't want to. Now let me get them away from here. Let me walk up here over here because I don't want them to go through all that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't got time. I don't want to talk to y'all. You see what I'm saying? Like I ain't did nothing. I feel within my heart that I ain't do nothing, bro. I was just speaking my mind and how I felt. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't act up on 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 none of that. I ain't tell the police, man. I ain't. Man. Like, oh, nigga, when I pull up, nigga, nigga, whatever, whatever, whoop, whoop, whoop. No, 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 no. I ain't on that. Well, I'm just chopping them off. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm just chopping them off, bro. Yeah. You know, he feels some kind of way, and I know he feels some kind of way. And I'm telling him right then, I'm like, bro, look, man, look, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you probably got some kind of way. And I'm telling him, like, nigga, you probably got that knocking that lady down. Because in my mind, I'm thinking, boom, this man that called me from her phone, bro, you the police man. What you doing calling me from her phone? Yeah. I'm the real, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, damn. Man, hell no, man. I ain't going to jail for what I ain't did nothing. Yeah. Man, y'all might really going to kill me right now. Y'all might shoot the shit out of me, bro, because I, I ain't going nowhere, bro. I ain't going nowhere, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not doing it. Y'all might really kill me, bro. Because I ain't... Man, you, you know how I be, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, I ain't, bro, I ain't with that. I ain't did nothing. I ain't did nothing, so I wouldn't die for what I believe in. You so, know what I'm saying? Y'all people is messing with me for no reason at all. So so you in front of Paul's cars, you yeah. got you got the pistol on you, and you got a police in front of you, one or two police in front of you. Now I got four police in front of me, bro. Okay, so is anybody draw down on their weapons yet? Bro, the people had the tasers out on me. It was one that was that was uh that was uh like taking stand like 
from a uh, from a distance. He was like in the corner, like behind the wall. But there was like two in front of me and one on the side. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they had the tasers. They had the red dots on me. You know what I'm saying? And I looked down and I seen the red dots. Man, you know, you, you know how that is. Your mind flipped. I ain't know what it is. Is it the beam, the taser, or what it was? You see what I'm saying? Like, I ain't know what it was. You hear the sirens in the, in the, in the, in the, you know, in the background. You hear all that. You yeah. see what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, it's man, live. It's live man. action. You got the beams on you. You hear the police in the background. They probably got the helicopters out. Man, them folk coming. You know they coming. Yeah. And I'm sitting there. Telling the man we ain't going, you might as well kill me. I'm, I'm saying, is you clutching? Die. Is you clutching? You got your hand on it? What's the what's the situation? No, I ain't clutching nothing. I ain't clutching nothing, bro. I ain't clutching nothing, bro. I ain't clutch until the folks start moving and they start zeroing in on me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I ain't, I ain't. That's when I clutch, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't none of that, but when they start zeroing in on me, man, I did like a little lean move. <laughs> uh, it broke loose. When you say broke loose, what you mean? Man, it broke loose. Like, I tried to run all in one instant. It's like I tried to run, bro, and I whipped out the tool all at the same time, got hit by the taser. Let the shot go. I'm on the run. No, like so did your gun? Back, did you? Did your I gun? I took one step. Did your? Did you fire your gun? Yeah, I fired my gun. How many I times? I fired that gun. I fired that gun. I felt that. I felt that heat. I fired that pistol, bro. So after you felt the heat, then you fired your pistol. Yeah, it was like all in one motion, bro. It happened so fast. It happened so fast, bro. And I went like down. I went down, bro. Like I went down like a dead baby, crazy. And I just went down. You went down because of the tires, or you went down because they shot you? Both, bro. It was like I got hit by the taser, bro. And it was like, you know what I'm saying? Like the shots and the taser, it was like everything hit all at the same time. time. Yeah, okay. So that's what you meant when you were saying. I couldn't move move because the dude that was like going to take a guard by himself. He was the one who who popped it. You see what I'm saying? Like he was like the first one who popped me. The dude who was up on, on me with the other dude, he was the one who had the taser. You see what I'm saying? So where the first place you got shot at? My leg. From from, from where I'm from what I understand it was my leg, but I couldn't go nowhere. I couldn't move. Cause you, know? you were you couldn't move cause they had the taser on you. And I had I had, and I got hit by the taser, bro. So, your gun, you let off one shot? How many shots you let off? No, 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 no. I let off all of them. Oh, about, what, 14? 14, 15 shots. Did you hit any of the officers? Negative. Now one of them, bro. <laughs> and how many times did you get hit? Man, I got hit 13 times, bro. 13 shots, bro. Bro, it's a wonder you even still living, bro. Yeah, it's a blessing, man. You know, look, you know where I was laying down on that ground, but I was like a sitting duck. You know what I'm saying? It was like, it was, it was crazy, bro. It was like, you see your whole life flat before your eyes. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything, bro, everything became real because it was like, you know, when you get, when you get shot up, people having like this, it was like, do you feel it? I was like, nah, bro, I ain't feel it. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, I can hear it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. everything intensified. Like, my sense of smell intensified. My vision intensified. My hearing intensified. You know what I'm saying? Because I was getting hit up, and I can I could feel my body losing. And it was like, when I was shooting at the folk, it was like, you know, it was like it was like a video game. But, like, it was crazy. How it may sound, but it seemed like it was like a video game. Video game, bro. And I was sitting there laying, you know, I was laying on that ground, bro, and I couldn't move, and it was like an asphalt hitting me. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, all yeah. kind of stuff going on, bro. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, man, ton of vision, you know, smell, I can smell the gunpowder. 
I could hear everything that was going on. You know what I'm saying? And you didn't got hit everywhere. You got hit in the chest or yeah, everything. Was everywhere was setting my chest and my head. Everywhere was setting my chest and my head. So it sounded like soon that it sent. Did you go like in the surgery or something, or what? The, what the? Or do you even remember what happened after that? Let me tell you what happened. Man. Like, okay, mind you, where I'm laying now, I'm bleeding out. The same dude, he a blessing. The same dude who I was shooting at. The same officer who I was talking shit to. Yeah. I said, bruh, put the tourniquet, took my bed off me. You know, they handcuffed me. That editing ran down on me. Mind you, I'm, and this is this is another clause to the story. That I left this part out. You know, I, I had that father, but I, you know, I always keep that extra clip with me too. Yeah. When I fell, you know, the clip fell out of my back pocket. Okay. You know, I was trying to get it because, you know, you, you, you feel like if I'm going to die, I got to, you know, take somebody with me. I'm reaching for it, you know. Just standing third, you know how your mind go when you're out there and walk out. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, the folk, I'm looking for it, but you know, they're running up on me now. Because, you know, the, you know how when you shoot the gun, you, you know, it, it, it retracts. You know what I'm saying? When you finish, when you empty out a clip, you know how it retracts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm still, you know, I'm, when all this is going on, I'm getting shot up, bro. You know, the weird to live, but all that kicks in. You see what I'm saying? So I'm still reaching, you know. Yeah, they run a, run down on me. When they run down on me, they, you know, they they scared too because I got this pistol man. But I get shot, but I get shot two times. But I drop the gun, drop the gun, get out. Hit, hit two two more times. I got hit in my hands, but. And the palm, I get hit in the palm of my shoe. Right now. So what? What my man do? Who is your name? Oh, oh, the 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 guy who uh who you talked to on the phone and when who man the man man the man took the belt from that was around my waist, bro. Yeah. Tied the tourniquet, man. You know what I'm saying? Tied the tourniquet on my leg. I don't bleed now. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so he he stopped the bleed. Say it again. He was trying to stop the bleed. Yeah, he was trying to stop the bleed, man. But you know, doing life's you know saving. You know, <laughs> methods or whatever. You know what I mean? So, you sitting there, you slapping me. Like, hey, man, stay with us, stay with us, man. You know, you got a lot to live for. Whoop, whoop, whoop. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, man, I'm finna die, man. I'm dead, man. Chill out. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, you know, when I'm laying down on the ground, man, the very person I called on, the very person I called on, bro, God, bro. Yeah. I said the 23rd song. You see what I'm saying? And I said, 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 hey, you know, listen, 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 I got, I got a little chance to get it right before I go ahead and go all the way out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm looking past you, you know what I'm saying? Well, but yeah, man, I thought it was over with. But, I think, they put me in the back of that, um, they put me in the back of the uh, ambulance. Okay. So when they put me in the back of the ambulance, man, everybody is looking the same to me, bro. Everybody looking the same to me. The people who trying to help me, they're looking the same. You know what I'm saying? The police, they looking the same. You know what I'm saying? So, you know me, I done nut it up. I done started nutting up on the folks. Man, they done shot me up with something. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. They done shot me up with something, bro. To well, man, I couldn't talk no more, man. Only thing I could do was here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, now, mind you, I'm riding to the hospital, and it felt like the longest ride. But that shit felt like the, it felt like the longest ride but ever. Got to the hospital, bro. Seeing the white lights when they push you, you know, from, yeah. from the, the, in the emergency room. Yeah. I don't remember nothing now. I was on life support for like five, for like five days, bro. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Went through like countless hours of surgery, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The folk, I, I, I was 
collapse in their bag. You, you dig what I mean? You, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, like piss bad, nigga. All that. Yeah. You feel me? Down bad, can't walk, paralyzed. I'm saying what they had in the wheelchair? Bruh, I was, I was in the bed. Like, I ain't leave, I ain't get out the bed for like a whole month. You see what I'm saying? Like, I ain't got the bed for a whole month, man. Yeah. Yeah, I was down bad, boy. Yeah, I was down bad. So when you came to, and you really started calculating what had happened, and you started... Man, I said, what the... What I done did, man. You know what I'm saying? I was like, man, I don't know what the hell. I was like, why did I, why did I have to make it? You know what I'm saying? Like, I started questioning, dog, because when you land in the hospital bed, you start questioning yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You start questioning everything, your purpose in life. You know what I'm saying? You start having all kind of regrets. You be like, man, if I ever made somebody feel the way that I'm feeling right now, you know what I'm saying? Like, like forgive me. You see what I'm saying? Like, oh, like, you know, you throw yourself a pity party. You know what I'm saying? Then... You had to bounce back and be like, hey, man, it's going to be all right. Because reality sits in and you know what you got to do now. The yeah. same thing that you didn't want to do, now you got to really go and face it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, why? Mentally, mentally, it tell you down more than anything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like me seeing my body in this condition, me not being able to wipe my ass, not even being able to snap shit. I'm using bad for my, my stomach, man. You feel me? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, man, they can't even got that. Mike ain't even got that. You my wood, bro. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And you know, you hear me. You know how that go. Yeah. That mess with your, you, you mess with your, your pride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. You know how a nigga get black. Man, man, nigga. Nigga knocking them down, bro. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So you know how that go. That mess with your pride. Yeah. No more movement, you know. Can't get up, can't stand up, can't 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 do none of that. But I got to get everybody to do everything for you, but you know what I'm saying? They don't need nachos over there. So, mm -hmm. so after you do get the best that you can be, I guess. So, because like when you're at the hospital, you at a regular hospital, right? Wow, I was at um, I was at um, where uh, um, Georgia Baptist. You know yeah, that was, I, was, I was born at Georgia Baptist. Mm -hmm. You know they, they call it something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was born at yeah. Georgia Baptist. Mm -hmm. So what the court situation look like? What? All right, mind you. Now this is what happened. I stayed in the hospital, like in the bed, but like maybe like that ass six days, something like that. You know what I'm saying? No movement, nigga ain't, ain't got no insurance, so you know they won't they won't be out the hospital. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. GBI they came to talk to me one time. You know, I told them I'm up under these medications. I don't think that we need to be talking. I ain't got no nothing, bro. I ain't got no nothing. I ain't got, I ain't handcuffed to the bed. I ain't got no police outside my door. I ain't got nothing on nothing. Do you hear what I'm saying? I ain't got nothing on nothing, bro. The whole time I'm there, bro. The whole time I'm there, I don't have no kind of police detail outside my hospital, though. My family that came and seen me the whole time. You see what I'm saying? I was there every day. You talking about, you, you see what I'm saying? Like, they was there, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So I ain't had none of that, I ain't handcuffed to no bed, none of that, bruh. Yeah. So boom, when the days come, they want me out of the hospital, it's time to go now. Man, I leave the hospital. I'm at the crib, I'm chilling. You know, got the nurses, they take the nurses. Hold on, you went home? Huh? You went home? Mm-hmm. For the hospital, they just charged me from the hospital. Okay. I went home, bro. I went home, bro. Yeah. I'm chilling at the house. 72 hours later. 
Man, get who flashed up on the news? You. Believe it. Somebody them folks got warrant for my arrest. Yeah. So I ain't think them folks know what they had going, what was going on with me. Maybe yeah. they thought I died or what. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But I ain't do no nothing, no nothing. I left the hospital house in the car dip. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Man, I sit down. I say, okay, boom. Shit, but I'm going ahead and turn myself in. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, call down now. Hey, man, y'all got a warrant for my arrest? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah, I think we need to go ahead and turn yourself in. Boom. I like, all right. Went. My family came around me. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, shoot, man, I wouldn't turn myself in, but. I'm thinking I'm finna get right out. Yeah, you think you finna bone out? Yeah, man, you know, I, you know, I have to get about this thing. You know that? You know what I'm saying? Like, and it, it, I'm thinking, hey, just to aggravate the side, I pointed out on the last one, so, I, you know, I get bone out on this one, too. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Watch stop. Wasn't nothing, no, 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 nothing. Born denied. But I had to stay in the, I had to stay in the county, the county, 120 days. You know what county, county you use it? You in Clayton County? I'm in Clayton County in the infirmary, bro. Yeah. For 120 days. Mind you, can't do nothing on nothing for myself. Yeah. Yeah, so imagine that. Mm hmm. I can't do nothing. They got me in the observation cell, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I can't do nothing. I'm told. You know what I mean? I'm so I'm thinking I'm finna, you know, make a move, man. I ain't going nowhere, so I had to stay locked up so much before I made bond. Okay. Cause they had an indictment within those four months. You know what I'm saying? So it was like automatically they had to get their bond, so they were you still saying. So um judge at first she wanted to set the bond like a two fifty. Then she was like uh my lawyer told her, you know, give me something that's reasonable. He ain't gonna pose no, he ain't no flight risk. The man turned himself in. You know what I'm saying? He's like, all right, well, who go, you know, be his quote unquote, you know, go look out for him or whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? My brother, you know what I'm saying? God bless the dead. You know what I mean? He was like, uh, I got him. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Man, shh, eight to five. Um, thousand for the bond. Got out, you know, 10% of that. Got it out. Yeah. Mm hmm. Got out. Well, mind you, I'm in the recovery stage now. When I get, when I was locked up within them, within them four months, I had to teach myself how to move back around. Yeah. And all that, cause you know, you in jail. I'm in prison, bro. Yeah. I'm in jail. I yeah. ain't in prison yeah. at this time. I'm in jail. So, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know how I go. You know how I'm paranoia. How paranoia is when they kick in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you got. Man, I gotta get up. Yeah. So I started moving around, bro. You know what I'm saying? Move, using my elbows, you know what I'm saying? To yeah. move around, you know what I mean? From the bed to the wheelchair, you know what I'm saying? When they seen that, I can do that. They moved me up out that observation cell. <laughs> and put me back there with the rest of them folks. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, boy. We were hard time because, man, there were times that where a nigga couldn't piss. And, you know, I, 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 I just went through all them surgeries. You see what I'm saying? So, man, my stomach... I'm sitting in, I'm sitting in the, in the, in the, in the hole, I'm sitting in the hole with a fat stomach, can't piss, I ain't, I ain't pissed for three days, you know, I'm pissing in the bag, because everything that connected to my body, they, they got out of track, you see what I'm saying, like it didn't pop out, like, I'm like, man, you folks sending me to the hospital, you know, and they don't want to do that, you know what I mean, so, man, it was crazy, bro. It was crazy. So, so when you I got out, on bond, I said I don't bond a year. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Still bond a year, you know. Shit. That whole year, man, I was just recovering, really. You know what I mean? Like, having different surgeries. You know I think saying? I had seen you when you had bond and up. Right. Exactly. Exactly. I think I had came to came, your apartment. You came and seen me. 
Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Just pull it up on me. Yeah. So, yeah, man. so you caught the jury up or you pleaded out? I took a blind plea, right? You know, cause, you what's know, a what's a blind yeah, plea? A blind plea, definitely discretion of the judge. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, they gotta be twenty one. Yeah. You know, gotta be twenty one. You know, when no your fans are bust about it, you know, I'm gonna hold myself accountable. You know. Gotta hold yourself accountable for what it was you that you did. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, so, with that being said, you know, man, I played I to the plea. You know what I'm saying? But that plea was whoop. What that was, was the what's, what was the plea? The plea was I had a non-negotiable plea for a forty years, bro. Non-negotiable plea of forty years that would make me put in discretion of judge. I'm talking to my lawyer, my lawyer, like, look, man. That man ain't gonna give you no for the years, man. I've been doing them for twenty years, such and such, such just down the third, man. You know what I mean? Like he ain't gonna give you no for it. So in my mind, I'm thinking like I'm gonna get about a dub back. You see what I'm saying? Like I can see, I can see that. Yeah. For this, you know what I'm saying? I can see that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I can see that. Boom, man. Mess around, bro. It get like down to like the last hour. I had been signed the paper, but I had another surgery I had to do. You know what I'm saying? So they let me stay out to uh, do that surgery. You know what I'm saying? So after the surgery, I got out of the hospital on my birthday. Matter of fact, got out on my birthday. How old you had turned? Well, I was thirty four. Okay, I turned thirty four then. Yeah, 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 yeah. We had a man, yeah, but we had a good time. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, you know what I mean, like for real, for real, like. But uh, got out on my birthday, and shit, I had to be, be in court that following month, and uh, then that time, you know, I just did everything, a lot of things, you know what I'm saying, like yeah. Everything, so it was what it was here, yeah, there, you know what I'm saying, in and out. But, but, and I'm moving around. I ain't, you know, I'm, I'm moving around, you know, when you went from the wheelchair to the, to the, to the, to the walker, to the crutches, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm walking like a toddler, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still moving around, you know what I mean? So I'm up on my feet, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, man, the folk, man, went to court that day, man, the folk, man, it was crazy because it was like, the night before, he called me, and it was like he switched up the times, two times on me. You see what I'm saying? Not, and that particular, that particular day, I was like, the only dude on the, on the um, docket would be at court. You see what I'm saying? So it was like, I was late, he was late. You know, and the, and the judge looked at the nigga like, and so in the world, like, you disrespect my courtroom, which really wasn't the case, but it was what it was. You see what I'm saying? Because of the miscommunication me and my lawyer had. But I was like, Man, when I, I, I promise you, but I feel like that day, I feel like they swapped me out. Like, they got all the way down to the wild. Like, on will be in 100 with it. You know what I'm saying? He would be in 100 with me, bro. But until that particular day, it was like a, I don't know, it just felt kind of weird. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I was like, man, bro, I finna, you know, I finna talk to this man and tell him what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, nah, no, nah, calm down. No, nah, nah, this chill, this chill. Woo, woo, woo. I'm like, bro, look. Speak my piece, man, cause you ain't talking about nothing. Look like yeah. you. You know what I mean? But like, this is what's going on with you. And I don't want to put it on you, but look like you on some old other stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. For real, bro. Yeah. Like, it, 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 it was crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, I mess around and, um, this folk came with the 40 to 30, bro. 40 years sentence, 30 to serve. Folk counts aggravated assault. Three terrorist threats, four pistol charges. Four pistol charges? Yeah, I don't know how I got four pistol charges, but four pistol charges. I got 11 counts, bro. Yeah. Yeah. That's where we're going. Dang. Mm hmm. That man. Sure. <laughs> I just, man, I was in court 
I'm about to throw the dishes at them folk, man. And my fan boy, and it's, you know, proceeded. And they click back in instantly. Like, you know, second nature, buddy, you got to go do what you got to go do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, do what you got to go do. There ain't way, wasn't nobody, you know what I'm saying? Wasn't nobody but me, you know what I'm saying? So, you know how it goes. Mm-hmm. So how long you been locked up now? Well, it's going on ten years. I'm saying no, nine years. Yeah, they've been gone so long. Yeah, nine years. How you staying busy in them all? Man. Reading, going to detail, you know what I'm saying? Cooling, you know. You got a little, you know, they look, they look advanced nowadays. You know how it go. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> they look advanced nowadays. It ain't like when it like it was when we were back here. Back in the day, it ain't like how it is now. They, yeah. They go, they got advanced, you know, technology, man. <laughs> you know how it go, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. So, you know. I stay in tune with what's going on. You know yeah, 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 yeah. Surround myself with positive people. You know what I mean? Like, so are you, do you get to talk to your children at all? Or? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. Yeah, we got to, you know, my older daughter, she know what's going on. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, she know what's going on. You know, the youngest when she over there, like, she don't understand. You know, because she, you know. Yeah. You know, the folks ain't even on that type of time. You yeah, know yeah, I mean? yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but, but yeah, my older one, she, she know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, man. All kind, man. Yeah, we got a good relationship. You know what I'm saying, bro? It just, you know, and ain't there. So you know how it come. You ain't there. And then, and then, you know, it's different. This, 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 this stress right here is different. Not because of the fact that, you know what I'm saying? Not because of the time. I ain't worrying about that part. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because time, as long as you don't stop the clock up, everything is everything. Yeah. You keep going. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But I'm responsible for other people now. You see what I'm saying? And I wasn't there to, you know, feel my duties as being a daddy. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Even though I think, you know, I'm still daddy or whatever the case may be. Yeah, no, you know no, I, I, mean? I know exactly what you're talking about, bro. Yeah, but yeah. you ain't, you know, ain't there. You know, the first trip, man, I was responsible for being man. I ain't had nobody but me, so I do what I want to do. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And, you know, now it's like, and then people be like, bro, you always been, you know, that was selfish of you to do what you do. Yeah, I agree. That was selfish. You know what I'm saying? But when you're making the decision out of anger, you know, it could, it could, it could, you know, mess you up for the rest of your life. For the rest you of your life. You know, the crazy part, like bro. One mistake, bro. I've been, bro, I've been preaching it because I'm just coming to some of those realizations myself while I'm mm-hmm. talking about, we're talking about emotional intelligence and just like, right. It, it's about your your emotional IQ, bro. Like how how you can make a decision, understand. Like one of the elements is self awareness. Like understand what piss you off and what push you right. over the edge. What trigger you? Yeah, mm-hmm. and the right. empathy. Understand what the other person going through. Uh, but it's just like it's different stories and different plots. But all uh, the 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 storyline is pretty much the same, bro. A lot of us make decisions just based on that temporary. Hot zone and right. second seconds turn into in lifetimes. Right. They turn into right. lifetimes. And then you be looking back, like talking about I should, I wish, you yeah. know, and all that, all them possibilities. You know what I'm saying? So you got control of that when you when you when you realize that you know that you really in control, like you. That's the power that you have. You know what I'm saying? Like not to do or to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, without just going. Yeah. Man, you know, I, I don't let nothing bother me, you know, man. I don't let no word have control of me. Yeah. Nice. Like, now, I'm to the point, I'm so old now. I, like, I'm to the point now, I'm like, man, you can say whatever you want to say. You know, it used to have been, I couldn't be no bitch ass nigga, no puss ass yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, none of that. You see what I'm saying? But you can say what you want to say. I'm going to say the same thing to you. And I'm going to tell you, look, boy. I ain't never seen a tongue whoop a nigga ass. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So everything is everything. As long as you don't pose no threat, as long as you don't get inside that range of violating my personal space, I'm good. Because you say whatever you want to say in the app. Because I can do the same. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And I just don't let nothing 
even get to me like that. You know what I'm saying? Because, I, man, I ain't, man, I ain't got time. I ain't got time, man. Yeah. Well, leave me alone, bro. <laughs> no, I just want to be left alone, period. You know what I mean? Leave yeah. me alone. Mm -hmm. Man, do what I'm gonna do because I'm creeping up on the hour mark. I'm gonna this, I'm gonna lock the new number in and then we're gonna chop it up later on. But we're gonna follow back up with this thing. I'm gonna close out on this and then I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna get with you. But I appreciate yeah, it, but you look, you uh, send me a cash out so I know what's going on. Or is it the same one? Oh, uh, no, nah, it wasn't totally different. Okay, send it to me. That'll work. That'll work. Hey, bro, I'm with you, my nigga. Man, I already know, bro. You, you ain't look. You ain't got. <laughs> I know if it ain't that, they gonna understand you. Yeah, for real, for real. For real, for real. Yeah. But uh, we'll get together. Yeah. Send that send that cash out tonight, bro. All right, I think it'll... All right. Hey, man, we're gonna close out. We've been on here an hour. You usually don't stay this long because I try to get in and out, man. But. That was my home, but Glenwood, you heard what was going on. Uh, a lot of stuff, man, a lot of stuff that we do, man, is because we don't operate from a position of strength. And we allow our emotions to get the best of us, man. And if, 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 man, if, it's sad to say, but if we knew then what we know now, man, We'll be in a different place. We'll be in a better place. So I like to take that that mindset that if I knew then what I know now. Well, see what I know now, I can give it to somebody who is in who is living there then. And in fact I have a, a moral or a universal obligation. We have an obligation to 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 feed the universal positivity, man. And it's like a lot of politicians, they be like, man, tough on crime and they build bigger prisons and they have stricter codes. But we still see mothers on, on the TV. They be crying about what's going on. Because when somebody get killed, bro, it be the people who get killed then it be the people who get sentenced. Like everybody, man, everybody lose. And nothing, nothing really changed, man. They'll talk about doing a, a gun buyback. Bro, in order to have an effective change, man, you got to start with our seeds. And they got to start operating from a position of strength. And they have to be exercising and be familiar with emotional intelligence. That's the only way that you'll, you'll get music where we ain't killing each other. And you'll have a female mindset where they understand who they are. But most importantly, we'll stop hating each other. Because the propaganda has been compounded upon us, bro, for... Since the beginning of some to to some of us can't remember, man, and we hate each other, we don't like each other, we can't wait to kill each other, and as 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 undertone as it is, man, it's it's ever present, cause you can say one thing, man, but if you look at the actions and you look at the numbers, man, we can't wait to kill each other. Like I love my brother, but in my mind, he the one that's gonna get me. So we gotta. Make an active change, man. We got to, we got to start operating with our brains and not our emotions, and we can't get too deep off into our emotions, man. Or when we do get deep off in them, we got to start understanding what trigger us, what motivate us. We got to understand. We got to understand how to communicate, because a lot of times we feel a certain kind of way. We we don't know how to express that. So. Everything that I do, man, I don't just want to leave you with, like, I'm just talking to people that's in prison, man. It's a message with everything, man. And the message is, man, it, it could get real. Like, it, it could switch up just like that. He went from dropping his daughter off at the quick trip, bro, to paralyzed, almost dead, to sending a chain game for 40 years. Just like that. I mean, my name is Mr. Butler. It's the best day of my life. Tomorrow's not promised. Everything you have will one day not belong to you. Everybody that you know, you won't know no more. Why they still playing your song, gone and do your little dance.